Hey Virgos, welcome and welcome back to the channel. So I will be doing a reading for you all. So hopefully it resonates. I'm not going to get into anything too long and uh, winded. So I will be starting off with a energy spread to see what's going on. So take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If the reading is not for you, then there are other tarot readers that you can um, click on. All right. So. Let's see what we got here for Virgo. Okay, so you are no longer going back and forth, Virgo. I see that you're making changes to move forward in a positive light. I do see that you are manifesting right now here and uh, moving towards whatever it is that you're manifesting. All right, very beautiful energy. Okay, so a lot of self-indulgence energy around career. See what we have for July 3rd for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node for Virgo. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, your overall energy is gone. It says you will be experiencing an exciting event. So something is definitely coming up here. So what we do have is the torch, the goldfish, broken bridge, broom, apple, and we have chair filled. Okay, so from what I'm seeing here, I'm getting that something in the past didn't work out for you. It could have been a person, a job, a friendship, a money situation, or a business deal. Okay? But I am seeing that a chair will be filled, and whatever has happened in the past, it will be a thing of the past. Someone new is entering your life here. And I'm getting that you will be tempted... When it comes to how you spend your money or your spiritual growth on whether you've learned lessons or you've learned things that are going to benefit you. I'm also seeing torch and broom. I do see that you're coming into having a new home. I'm not really sure if this is what you've been manifesting, but if this is something that you've manifested, you're definitely going to be in a new environment very soon. Okay, and spirit is telling you to hold on. Okay, hold that torch, keep it held high because you've worked so hard to come to this place right here, right now. All right, okay. So we have here younger man, a pale, and last but not least, we have wheel. At the bottom of the deck, we have here younger man, pale, wheel, and the desk card. So I'm seeing that someone here could be a distraction for you. So if you are in your career, you know, just getting started, I would say to, I wouldn't tell you to put things on the back burner, but draw a line between business and pleasure. Okay? I'm getting here that there's a younger man that someone could be dating or has dated that they are needing to get out of a situation with so that you can focus on your career, on your work. That's another storyline that I'm hearing. Some of you have been indecisive about something that's going on. I'm going to clarify this. What's this wheel? Why is decisiveness here for Virgo? Yeah, because you're trying to be strategic about the decision that you make here. And you want to make sure that it's beneficial, especially if you've invested time in this. 
but seeing that it's in reverse, it's something that is kind of on a standstill. What's this Seven of Swords? This could be with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, or about a air sign. I'm getting here that you're looking for uh, something very solid or spiritual here. For some of you, you're focused on what your uh, values are in, in your... Um, when it comes to your spirituality and I think that uh, someone may have differences or is it wanting to come to a common ground about that all right so I'm gonna put these over here And I'm going to start off with the reading here. So, Spirit, Holy Spirit, can you open up a higher dimension for me to get some messages? What is it that the Virgos need to know for July 3rd, please? For Virgo. We have Six of Cups. So, Virgo, someone could be missing you or you of them. Or you're thinking of a time that was very significant significant for you in the past someone could be very well manifesting you since this separation here someone feels like you are their person the empress and it's very apologetic what else for virgo july 3rd someone here is in a um tough position here for one the scenario i'm hearing is someone's relationship is very rocky or when it comes to someone wanting to be with you they're not sure of how to make this happen so that's why they're manifesting this okay this is someone that could have a spiritual connection to you as well here i'm getting the empress in reverse someone doesn't feel like uh they measure up or that they're enough for you someone doesn't have enough confidence that they're enough for you here this is someone that acts like an emperor though someone here has an evil energy okay we have the knight of wands yeah i'm getting I'm getting here that it makes someone very angry to know that uh, they have to settle for a relationship that they're in. What's this Knight of Wands? Yeah, this person is crushed. Or you could be. I'm getting here that someone sees how, how you've changed since this separation or the breakup. Star card. We have the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm getting that this person feels like they've lost you or they lost an opportunity to be with you here. And this puts a lot of strain on their, their head, their mind. I'm seeing here every day is a different struggle for them on different levels. There could be some chaotic things that are happening behind the scenes for you or this person here, Virgo. Yeah. I'm hearing that something is mentally um, conflicting when it comes to leaving here. Someone's needing to rack up the strength to have this new beginning. To be in a, a better position to do this. So we have six of pentacles. It looks like someone here is going to be successful in something. Someone may want to give, gift you something here. Someone may be at a distance from you, so they may have to mail it. I don't know, but I'm seeing something about an acorn or a nutcracker. I don't know spiritually what that means, but as you can see, this 
person has their hand out out of a window trying to give someone either an acorn. I don't know if that looks like an acorn or a nut crack. Nut. I'm getting that someone here is feeding their mind. Someone could be feeding their mind negativity. Someone could be brainwashed. Someone could be deemed crazy or someone could have been called crazy. A nut job. We have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot of burden, stress on this person. Yeah, there's a lot of stress about leaving a situation that isn't fair or unjust. Yeah, someone's been in their head about getting out of a home situation. Let's see. What else for Virgo, July 3rd? For Virgo, please. Someone here is very, very defensive because they've been hurt and they don't want to feel this. This person has a very big ego. And I'm getting here that someone is spiritually trying to work through some things. Six of Wands here. Yeah, I'm getting something about a home life, bills, trying to fix a uh, relationship gone wrong what's the six of wands this could have to do with a fire sign there's a lot of element of fire here we have the judgment card i'm getting that someone's getting close to making a decision yeah i'm getting there's going to be some type of communication knight of swords yeah someone's going to be telling you or you are going to be telling this person how you feel. Someone's going to be giving it very soon. I'm hearing like five days, the next five to eight days. Five to ten days. We have the Queen of Swords here. I'm getting that when this person speaks to you over the phone, they're going to be uh, triggered about things that may that they may be inadequate about, okay? About how things didn't work out and how things uh, stagnated, didn't move forward. Everything kind of kept getting pushed back. It was always something. All right. So we have the nine of wands. Yeah, this makes someone very afraid because they don't want the same thing to happen, you know, a third time, a fourth time. They, they want to have new opportunities with you, new ventures, a new um, state of mind when it comes to being with you. But I think that it's going to take time for this person to get over certain things. Someone here could be putting all their energy into releasing a um, toxic relationship, codependency, a situation there's like an evil attachment if you look at the star I'm seeing in between these stars here there's like an eye it's like there's an evil eye on you someone doesn't want you to succeed or someone's jealous of you. That's what I'm seeing. Someone's jealous and watching you, Seven of Cups. Okay? Because you are definitely developing uh, change, evolution, ex um, excelling at whatever it is that you do. Yeah. And that's your justice. That you don't go through hard times. All right, can I get one more card here? For Virgo. We have the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Someone's tired of being in this sleep position. Someone's ready to stand up for whom they love, okay? Yeah, someone here is definitely manifesting. 
someone feels like there's distance between you two. There's a song by Omarion, it's called Distance. And there's also another Omarion song called Word for Word. You guys need to go ahead and listen to the lyrics because that could have some type of uh, significance to this read. All right, so I'm gonna tap into my Kipper to see what messages we got. for Virgo so someone could be getting out of a marriage that's um, in this courtship right now it could be a mature man a mature man or someone that just um, is mentally mature or someone that is older but very youthful we have high honor so I'm getting that someone is heavily thinking of you that you could have ended things with. This person is going through some hard times with money. This person used to be the wealthy man. Now I see wealthy man in reverse. We have pathway. So I'm getting here that there's a lot of transformation. You've cleared the way of insecurities, um, uh, stagnation issues that you're going through you've also uh, stopped talking to this mature man in reverse and ended things with this mature man here I see a lot of temperance around you what else is here for Virgo June 3rd okay so we have courthouse Okay, so there's a wealthy man in reverse that could be going to court. Some of you, this could be a baby mother or a baby father. You might get a message uh, on a home phone or you may be at home getting a message about this because of a child. But when I tried doing this reading earlier, when my phone died, I'm seeing that if it is about money, you're gonna get money that's owed to you, okay? That's the change. So if you were owed money from a child's mother or father, you will be getting it. Spirit is telling you to ride the wave here, okay? Don't give in, don't give up. I also seen too that you guys will be in a new environment, new home, new setting. You will be starting fresh, moving forward. All right. So here we go. Spirit, should I take this or we shuffle? Okay, I'm gonna take it. Spirit says take it. We have a couple cards here. It says third wheel, last resort, tag along. So someone feels like they were the last option. You're going to be putting someone in their place in regards to this, which could face some challenging times. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I'm also getting here that this is some emotions that have been bottled up since the last time you spoke to this person. This person could have made you feel like an option. And this was a problem for you that you weren't able to voice this. We have bill collector. So someone's bills could be piling up or you are uh, overdue on a bill here. We have drug overdose, overusing, new person, love interest. We have top secret. So I'm getting here when it comes to a relationship or anything that you have going on. I'm hearing that you need to keep it on the low. Okay, so there could be a new love interest that is hiding a child or finding out about a pregnancy. Okay. Yeah, I feel like whoever this person is, they're younger than this masculine here. There could be a fake friend that's befriending your friends because you outshine them. Yeah, I'm hearing that someone's talking shit, man or someone's full of themselves. You had me and you lost me and now you want me back. 
You effed around and played around. That's by Eve. Yeah, someone here is begging for one more chance. I'm getting this could have something to do with a cancer or someone could be diagnosed with some type of cancer. This could be any cancer. I'm hoping that's not the case, but that could be. Someone could be losing their apartment or someone wants to give this another shot because they've lost everything. Okay, this doesn't necessarily have to be you. This could be the other person too. Wow, so it's definitely not about you. This lost apartment or shelter is your person. For some of you, you're gonna be getting paid. Wow, new love interest. There's two new love interests here. We have mailbox. Didn't I speak on someone giving you something in the mail? So there could be a new love interest that's in your apartment building or in your complex that could be putting something into your mailbox or you could meet this person while you're going to the mailbox. Take it how it resonates. Reverse the roles. I'm getting that you're going to be getting some type of incoming um, text message or DM about your new person sneaking around. And that could be in the fall. Okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have well played, successful. So you know how to like maneuver, transition yourself. You know how to play your cards right here. Let's see what's going on for you, Virgo, for July 3rd here. I'm getting that when you start focusing on yourself, here comes this engagement ring. When you least expect it, someone's going to want to propose. We have a coffee cup. So I see you guys going on a date or someone wanting to meet up so they can tell you something. But I'm hearing that you shouldn't trust this person. Yeah, I'm seeing love call. So someone that's been thinking a lot about you or is mesmerized, um, mesmerized by you. This is someone here that wants to tell you how they feel. we got for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. For Virgo, July 3rd, for Virgo, so we have heartbroken. Some of you are going to experience some hurt or sadness in regards to a separation that you haven't been able to get over. And I think the trigger is you looking at old text messages, old pictures, um, triggers of memories, things of that nature. Let's see what this past person would like to say. Another thing that I'd like to let you guys know is that just because a suitor comes towards you and wants to court you doesn't mean that you have to court them back. Get to know that person so that you can see what intentions they have. What does this person want to say? You and I were too young. So you could have known this person since high school or at the time this person wasn't mature enough to give you what you needed or vice versa. So many things remind me of you. And we have, I knew exactly what I was doing. And that's the, that's the worst part is that this person may have made you feel like everything was your fault and you couldn't do anything right or um, this was all on you when it was actually them. I don't react when people mention you. What else does, do they want to tell you? So, yeah, even if this person comes back around, I think it's only going to be for a moment because they haven't done the shadow work. 
that's required of them here, but they're trying to release anything that's no longer serving them. Yeah, they, they know that you've been right about them and they're dealing with money issues. So when we did see loss of apartment, this person is uh, probably staying with someone. Yeah, they can't be tied down right now, but they do think a lot about the times that you've shared and we did see it in this reading. Yeah, I think that there are some secrets that are going to be revealed in court or to you here from them or um, someone coming to you with this information. It says, I'm fighting the urge to come towards you because of these secrets here. Yeah, they're sorry that they've been super selfish with you and they, they, they know or they understand that they can't be with you right now. There's just too much going on behind the scenes that they don't want you to be a part of because it's going to be like opening a fresh wound. So now we're going to find out what these secrets are. What is this secret? What are these skeletons that this person is not telling you? It could have to do with more than one person. There is definitely some issues. I feel like it has to do with the law as well here. Yeah, it's something that they could have done in their past. With the Nine of Cups, I am seeing that this person could be indulging in some things that uh, they're blocking you out of. Yeah, I feel like they're trying to put their feelings at bay so they don't have to deal with any emotions. It's all about sexual pleasure. So these are like old flings that they're dealing with or people that they've known for quite some time. Yeah, this person was lying about, you know, options, Queen of Cups. Yeah, I'm getting that this person had someone that was older or more mature nurtured them this person could be a mama's boy too let's see what the tea is honey for virgo sun moon venus rising north node what do we have for virgo please june 3rd for virgo All right, so we have time to pay up. Someone here owes a, a gang member money, okay? They owe money. They took out a loan from some dangerous people that they have to pay back and they owe the money, all right? I'm getting here that someone here is trying to approach you that sees that you are their picture perfect ideal person. All right, so someone's preparing to um, have their kids go away for the weekend. Something, something here about an ex best friend. Okay, so. I'm seeing someone here is either feeding your person information about you and what you got going on because you look so independent and you don't have to ask for a motherfucking thing. You just do what you got to do and you get it done. Yeah, we have new person interest, okay? So someone's going to pique your interest. This person could be of someone that has celebrity status. So this person could very well be known in the industry. I'm hearing something about you turning it down. Yeah, because this person was a sex fanatic. Yeah, their, their credibility was shot. 
We have disability, things can get ugly. So someone could have a mental disability, physical, speech delay, developmental, and someone could have disrespected or mocked someone here. I don't know what this is about. I'm getting that these are two individuals that know each other, that someone could be gossiping about. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Let's get some majestic messages for Virgo. So we have here, someone is doing some reflecting. Someone is facing reality or some type of realization that they, they need to get help or that they need to fix something within themselves here. We have the number 64, six plus four is 10 because someone is easily triggered. Someone could have an anger problem. Be careful with your card because someone could be looking over your shoulder and uh, duplicating your card number, your card here. Someone could be trying to get your banking information. Yeah, we have temptation, impulse, reaction. Someone's tempted to react to something that they could have heard. Yeah, I'm getting here that you may be doing some updates or upgrades and you're not trusting this female karmic. We have baby mama, baby daddy. I'm getting that because you're stepping up in life and you're making upgrades in terms of your just your lifestyle on a whole and your finances. I'm getting that you don't trust people to come towards you or to come into your circle or your life here because of all possible ulterior motive. And there's a karmic female that has baby mama or baby daddy drama that may have took money or is trying to take money from you or getting the, I feel like, Okay, so what I'm feeling like right now is a scenario is the karmic is telling the divine masculine to come back towards you to try to get information from you about what you do so that it gives them the opportunity to get your, your credit card information. Take it as it resonates. Yeah, this is the work of the female and male karmic energy. And that's the card that rolled out. So they want to try to rob you this summer. So be very careful. They're currently not living together. And they're constantly making accusations um, against one another. Because there's a lack of trust there. There's a jealous ex that's pretending to want to get back together with you. But it's all for a motive okay you may have toxic friends or family that you may have blocked on social media because they made threats indirect threats towards you all right let's see what's going on in these romantic cards that are here for you virgo What is it that you need to know currently? So it says deception. There is deceptive energy around you. And if your intuition tells you that something's up, something's not right, you need to listen to that. Isn't that what I just said before I even got this out? Someone has a 
hasn't done the work and is trying to, you know, cast their energy off like they've done the work to get to maintain shadow, shadow work or come into the light. Spirit says let go of control issues and allow things to unfold naturally. But if you are wanting to or willing to make the effort, then you should. Okay, so we have stay optimistic about your love life. So positive thinking and faith will bring you romance here. All right. So let's see what else we got. What is it that the Virgos need to know? For Virgo. Okay, so we have by the book. You're definitely doing things by the book. You're no longer going off the grid to make your own rules because that's how you ended up messing up before. Someone's time has run out. We have fork in the road. One plus three is four. So this could have to do with um, moving forward, having clarity, stability, strength, power, what have you, on what direction to go in. Some of you feel like you're spiraling out of control. Some of you could have anxiety issues. We have the tribe. So I'm getting here that when it comes to a home life situation, um, just know that your spiritual guides are there, especially with all these birds here. Um, there is either your spiritual guides that are there with you or there are people that you could lean on in your time of need, okay? And we have imagine. So some of you... Um, are looking to manifest and just cancel out things that aren't healthy for you, whether that's your eating habits, your friendships, you know, your work life, you know, anything that deems toxic to you, you're going to be getting rid of. Let's get a spiritual element or animal. So your spiritual animal is the white-tailed deer, and it says, trust, am I honoring my knowing? At the bottom of the deck, you're still in this energy. I did have this card come out before for you. It is the Emerge card. So some of you are definitely transforming into this beautiful butterfly. It's the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail. And it says, what am I opening into? Okay, so I do see transformation, but you do need to trust that you are moving in the right direction and that you are no longer going to accept anything from your past that no longer serves you. Okay, so that's what I have here for your current messages, Virgos. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And also, thank you guys so much for your love and support. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in my next one.